Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Daniela and I do love makeup. If that is something that interests you, please don't forget to subscribe and turn those notifications on so you don't miss a video. Today's look is going to be a Brad Stahl inspired look. I am going to be doing this eyeshadow look that you see here. It is very soft and a little bit of smoky, but very fun and easy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this video and follow me along. Action. If you guys can tell, it is kind of very simple. She just has more of like more brown tones and some pinky tones and then she runs it over with an eyeliner. So I think this look is gonna be very fun and easy. So I did already go ahead and prime my eyelids when I was doing my concealer with the same IT concealer. I'm gonna be going in with my Morphe palette. I'm going in this color here, uh, Zesta, I believe that's the name. Zesta, Zesta, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm gonna be going in with this light color here. Any light color you guys have, just go ahead and apply that over the eyelids all over as a base so that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing is just applying that all over my eyelid it does not have to be perfect this is just gonna help when you do apply your eyeshadow over it um, it's gonna be a lot easier to apply um, and less of a mess going in with the Morphe eyeshadow brush this is our new coca-cola set that they have so if you guys can find it it doesn't have a number but it's this really thin fluff I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the Morphe palette again I'm using the all I'm gonna go in with the all night long color here. I'm gonna be using it, if you guys can see on the Brad Stoll, um, she has it more closer, kind of by the brow, but not too close. So I'm gonna go ahead and start buffing it out right there, lightly. This color may come off a little harsh, but you do have to buff it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that near my brow. I'm gonna buff it out as we go. Okay, if it looks too intense, trust me guys, we're gonna conceal as well. So I really like this color. It's very, it's more like a grayer tone as you buff it out. So I'm just gonna go in with this fluffy brush here. It's the same brush I use as my base. So this is an Amazon brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and buff it out just a bit. So now that that's buffed out, we're then gonna go ahead and create like a nice cut crease um, for that pinkier tone she has. So I'm gonna just be starting right here at the dead center, very thin. As you guys can see, when my eyelid opens, you can see the line where my crease is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go over that and shape it right here. So you can go in with any concealer. I'm going in with the same IT Cosmetics. So we're just gonna go ahead and create a cut crease and then we're gonna tap on a color called Alter Ego. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with our cut crease. So again, very thin. So there is the cut crease, you guys. Um, we're gonna repeat the same step to the other eye. So this is the cut crease, guys. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. We are gonna be going over it with another color. So I'm gonna use the Morphe palette and this is the color Alter Ego. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply Alter Ego right above my concealer. I am gonna go ahead and use another flat top brush like this, like this. It's kind of like a medium size. And we're just taking a bit, a bit of the product and we're just applying that over the eyelid. So now that that is done, you guys can see it's starting to look a lot like the color. You guys can see she has the pinky tone and then the brown tone. So I'm telling you guys this look is so, so easy. Now I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. Going in with any eyeliner, I'm going to go in with my Revlon black eyeliner. And I'm just going to go right above the cut crease and drag it down. Kind of how the brow stall did, so just drag it down here. And then create my eyeliner wing and attach it to the liner that goes above the cut crease. So 
so this is one of the eyes it's kind of like hers um i did mess up a little bit because i know it's like thinner in the middle but we can fix that so i'm just going to repeat the same step on the other eye you notice she also has very intense eyelashes on so i'm going to go in with my dye silk lashes it's these babies right here and we're going to go ahead and apply those to my eyes Okay, so you guys can see, just want to show you guys, um, she has a wispier eyelash at the end, so I did cut half of the lashes. They're still kind of getting glued on, but I just want to show you guys, you guys can see that the look kind of came together. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish off with my face, do the same contour I do in every video. You guys can see her contour is just very simple. She has highlight here, just a very soft bronze, so I will be back with my finished face. Voila, this is the finished makeup look. This was kind of difficult for me because I've never done a makeup look like this. So if it looks a little off, please let me know. Um, I will list all the products I use down below. But yes guys, this is the finished makeup look. This is very different for me. I've never done a look like this. Um, I hope I achieved the makeup look. I will list all the products I use down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was really fun. And if you guys enjoy my videos, please don't forget to subscribe and like and turn those notifications on so you don't ever miss out on a video. Thank you, my loves, for watching. And until next time, bye, my loves.